What's good, everybody? It's your boy, O'Shea Duke Jackson, back at it again with another episode of The Celebrity Junk. I keep telling you, brothers, white women have a serious advantage over you when they date you. A lot of you brothers believe that because you have education, you have money, you know, this doesn't apply to you. And it does, okay? And a white woman, when she has any kind of allegations against you, you're always going to look stupid, even if she's in the wrong, okay? This is why I found this World Star Hip Hop video where this white lady said this. If you are a white woman and you are dating in love with, married to a black man, I want you to listen up. Um... There are certain things that you need to know. And I don't think this is spoke about enough. But um, the most dangerous thing in this world are the tears of a white woman. And if you truly love the black man that you are with, you need to know that you need to have his back and protect him at all costs, including protecting him from yourself. And what do I mean by that? My son was dating a white woman. My son is biracial. Um, they got into an argument in public and she started to scream and cry. And my son immediately left the scene. She was outraged. She couldn't believe my son left. My son left because my son knew that if he stayed there and this woman was crying and screaming at him, a black man, there was not going to be any questions asked. Now, I want you to hear that, right? You heard that? It's a little snippet. Now, let me get to Courtney Clinney. Courtney Clinney was a OnlyFans model or is an OnlyFans model out of the Miami, Florida area. She was dealing with a Nigerian brother, a Nigerian brother uh, who had some issues. Uh, Obam Selly with black women. He talked about that in the past. Um, I don't know if he had reconciled those issues by the time he lost his life, but... Basically, there was domestic violence going on between the both of them, but I really see the evidence coming from her to him. Um, I'd be lying to say if I saw a lot of evidence of it the other way around, but she stabbed this guy to death. She stabbed the guy to death. She maintains his act of self-defense. I've seen her hitting the guy on the elevator. I can't play it now, but um, she said it was self-defense. Her parents tampered with evidence. Um, you know, basically... They were um, trying to do some hacking, I believe, you know, it, it, like confiscating emails and all like they were all in it, too. OK, now those charges of the family hacking have been cleared. They went to jail. Look at what's happened now. And this lady is completely guilty of this from what, what I understand. One of her major charges have been dropped. OK, on Thursday, South Florida prosecutors dismissed the computer hacking charge against Courtney Clinney after a judge ruled that Miami Dade State's attorney had violated attorney client privilege by confiscating text messages and emails between Clinton, her parents and her attorneys, right? Now, all of that could have been used, but they dropped it. And I'm gonna tell you why I believe they dropped it because they want this lady to get away with this. Now she's still charged with murder. She's still fighting it, but they're gonna try to be able to say that this was self-defense, right? Now. Here's what I want you guys to always understand that you're never ever going to get a fair shake when you are dealing with somebody outside of your community, especially if they lighter or whiter than you. And if you're going to deal with them, you need to deal with them based on the fact that they can do something for you. Because I'm going to tell you like this, for the most part, white women and educated black men, you have to be somebody to deal with them. This is something that a lot of black men don't want to talk about, but it's true. When we are dealing with these other groups of people, these other groups of women, these other communities, they don't even deal with us unless we got something to offer them. 
all right? But when we, a lot of times when we deal with them, oh, well, she's white. Oh, well, she thick. Well, oh, she that, she's a, she's a Paul, you know? I, I mean, unless you go to the same school as them, you're in the same career trajectory and you have some black men that do that. But a lot of black men is not really checking for them like that. A lot of black men is looking for the booty clapping sounds. And then we know we, 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 we have low standards when we're dealing with these white women and all, all they have to do be is white. And she used to call this brother the N-word. She used to, she used to, she used to talk about this black man. The same black man who's talking about black women, she used to talk about him. And a lot of black men gotta be serious. You have to be serious with yourself. You need to be serious with your life because you do not know what you are dealing with and you damn sure don't know what you are up against. Y'all be out here dealing with these women if you want. You think they care about you? You think that it's all good? You think that it's all sweet in the game? Something happened, your ass get deleted. All they gonna do is go up there and say, I was scared for my life. He did this to me, he did that to me. And then you're gonna start seeing all of a sudden that racial advantage come into play. And when that racial advantage come into play, y'all not gonna like all that, okay? It's not gonna feel good. When they out here getting that advantage over you like that, it's not going to feel nice at all. You're not gonna appreciate it one bit. So you better choose right. You better choose the right thing. If you're gonna deal with them, you better choose the right way. You ready to be dealing with these women based on that what you know that they're respectful. Cause I'm um, like I said, if you have an argument with them, they're not uh, you, you you be out there with them out there, uh, uh, going back and forth, bruh. You're not, you're gonna go down. I'm gonna tell you this story. I got a homeboy who um, married a chick from Poland, okay? Now by the time I, mar I had met him, he was already married to her. She had a 16 or 17 year old at the chi uh, time child, okay? Now the child at the time, uh, they were somewhere in Europe, you know, visiting and they were about to um, go somewhere, you know, on the train. He's standing out there with the daughter, the daughter calls him dad, right? Cause that's, that is her dad to her, you know? And she, she don't look at him as you a black dude. She looking at you like, dad, you know, you got, you got my back, I love you, right? And that's, that's cool. I don't have no problem with that. Now, here's the issue here. The problem is he's out there with this white young lady on the train and the mom goes in to get like a bag of chips or whatever. So the police come up there and they say, hey man, what are you doing with this white lady? And he's like, well, um, you know, hey, this is my daughter. You know, I'm with, with the mom. Nah, 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 this ain't true. So they get ready to arrest the dude. The daughter is saying, no, this is my dad. And they thinking that, you know, she's trying to basically lie or whatever. The police come and get the guy. They're about to lock the guy up. The mother finally comes out. Hey, this is my husband. What are you doing? Please leave my husband alone. Now this, this dude doing the right thing, they won't take him down. So as a black man, you gotta understand, man, if something happened to the white lady and she is the one that doing it, she believes that she can get away with it, some of them, because number one, you're black, she's white. This I'm not telling every, every white woman, but it can happen. Now it's going to be you having to prove yourself. So you, you, you know, you, you, you can't just pick somebody because they white and they blonde and they ain't got no good standards. Boy, you better be having somebody that got, that's a good person because they got to know that they have to protect you too as a black man. A white woman has a certain level of protection she got to do for her black mate. And do you trust somebody that much? Somebody better, better get together, man. So guys, what do you think it's your boy? O'Shea Duke Jackson. Back at it again with another episode of Celebrity Drunk. Put your fire, you just heard the bell. We're out.